Hi Church, I hope you are well today. My name's Becky, for those of you that don't know me, and I lead the North location along with my husband Joel. So if you've never been to our North location, why not check us out Sunday morning, 11am at the View Cinema Ferry, and we would love to see you. Ah, so come and check us out and say hi. But yeah, our theme for our devotionals at the minute is relationships, and today I really want to hone in on the power of vulnerability within relationships. You know, there is real strength in vulnerability. And in order to build successful, meaningful, life-giving relationships that we've been talking about recently in our At The Table series, I have learned, sometimes the hard way, that you cannot bypass vulnerability in relationships. I've learned that it's not healthy to hide. You know, when we got married, um, I moved to Scunthorpe after getting married because that's where Joel lived at the time. And as great as it was being married and marrying to, into the most incredible family, I entered a season where I had to walk through and navigate a season of loneliness. I'd gone from having an awesome group of, of friends who I'd grown up with and we'd done every part of life together, to then having to try and navigate life in a place with people I hadn't known and people who didn't know me. And as challenging as this time was and as lonely as this time was, it was actually a real great time where God really started to show me some stuff. And in this time, it was when God started to reveal to me that I'd actually spent a lot, if not most of my life, actually running from ever being seen be it from at the top of the aisle on my wedding day, actually freaking out the thought that everybody's going to be looking at me, um, to leading worship or doing anything up front. I, everything in me was trying to run from ever being seen. And God actually started to speak to me how I had to stop running because we need to be seen. You are the light of the world. It says in the Bible, it's God's design that we are seen you know and i learned through that season that actually to share your weakness is actually to make yourself vulnerable and in order to make yourself vulnerable is actually to show your strength vulnerability is allowing yourself to be seen you know it's easier than ever today and in this generation to hide because so much is done digitally you're more in control now than any previous generation of just how much of yourself you allow to be seen. You know, we can whack on a filter, we can show our best side, even hashtag doing life together without actually ever really being seen or known. And I want to ask you today, who do you have in your world who can see you, like really see you, truly know you? You know, the word persona in the Greek is actually the term for stage mask. And if you think back to 2020, which none of us want to, but it was the year of the mask. It was enforced upon us that we had to mask our faces, hide our smiles when mixing with other people. We had to stay home and keep people out. We were conditioned to keep people at arm's length. But that has never and will never be God's design. We need people in our world who can see beyond our mask. Maybe like me, you've spent so many years hiding and masking who you really are that your mask, your mask has actually become part of your identity now. But we cannot allow our mask to become our identity. People need to see the beauty of who you really are. You know, I love the account of Mephibosheth in the Bible. Mephibosheth was a son of Jonathan, who had been David's best friend and armor bearer. And now when Jonathan had died, Mephibosheth had been taken away from his homeland and he was basically in hiding. I just want to read to you the account in 2 Samuel chapter 9. It says, The king asked, Is there no one still alive from the house of Saul to whom I can show God's kindness? Ziba answered the king, There is still a son of Jonathan. He is lame in both feet. Where is he? The king asked. Ziba answered, He is at the house of Micaiah, son of Emil, in Lodabar. So King David had him brought in from Lodabar, from the house of Micaiah, son of Emil. When Mephibosheth, son of Jonathan, the son of Saul, came to David, he bowed down to pay him honour. David said, Mephibosheth, 
at your service he replied now during these times when the king was sending for you it was never usually for anything good so you can imagine all the things that must have been running through Mephibosheth's mind at this point he was probably expecting to be put to death his fear in his mind would have been so real and what was worse he was lame in both feet and he knew that people with disabilities at that time were not proudly welcomed but here he was being sent for to come into the presence of the king and Mephibosheth falls face down with all his weakness all his vulnerability on full show in front of the king and this is David's response this is the king's response don't be afraid, David said to him, for I will surely show, show you kindness for the sake of your father, Jonathan. I will restore to you all the land that belonged to your grandfather, Saul, and you will always eat at my table. This account actually shows us that a moment of exposure can actually bring a lifetime of strength. Mephibosheth had gone from being hidden to being seated at the table, seated with others. His weakness wasn't even on show anymore. You know, vulnerability is about removing the mask. You need people to see you for who you are underneath the mask, underneath the armory we can sometimes put up. Why not today step into the presence of your king? Let him remind you that he knows you he knows your story and then take some time to ask who are the people at my table who are the people that i need to invite to know me and know my story and if you don't currently have anyone at your table that's okay why not ask god today to show you who and take a step of faith send that text put on a barbecue let yourself be seen let yourself be known let yourself be loved by others because you already start from that place of being seen known and loved by your king have an incredible day church we love you and we will see you soon at one of our services have an incredible day